All right, next on the KTLA 5 News at 1. Amanda Knox, in her own words, telling I her knew story. I was in trouble because I had never seen my father cry before. Coming up, what Knox is revealing to us about her time in prison and life afterwards. I'm incredibly grateful for what has happened, for the justice I've received. That's Amanda Knox moments after an Italian court cleared her in the murder of her roommate. Now she is telling her story right here in Los Angeles. Knox, along with her then boyfriend and a local drifter, were convicted of killing a British college student with whom she shared an apartment. Yeah, an Italian court reversed that decision years later. KTLA 5's Mary Beth McDade spoke with Knox in Hollywood. All my dad could do was cry. All he could do was cry with me, and I knew I was in trouble because I had never seen my father cry before. Amanda Knox spoke to the West Side Bar Association and to KTLA about how, at the age of 20, her life was turned upside down when the Seattle native was falsely convicted of murdering her roommate, Meredith Kircher, while studying abroad in Italy in 2007. The unfortunate thing about this case is the prosecution decided before the evidence came in that I had to be guilty. Italian prosecutors came up with a bizarre tale as to why Knox and her boyfriend, Rafael Solicito, had killed Kircher. Me being a woman and the fact that Meredith had been raped <laughs> may have caused them to imagine a scenario where I somehow invented a, a sexual escapade that went wrong. And police spread false stories of Knox doing car wheels while waiting to be questioned. I could have been a professional dominatrix and it shouldn't have mattered because there was no evidence of me at the crime scene. So what, why are we talking about cartwheels? Why aren't we talking about the fact that the burglar's DNA was everywhere over the crime scene? All the evidence in the case only pointed to Rudy Goudet. Goudet is serving prison time for Kircher's murder. But prosecutors continue to go after Knox, who had to serve four years behind bars. The case flip-flopped twice before Italy's highest court ruled that Knox and Solicito had nothing to do with Kircher's murder. I went into prison as not yet a woman, and I came out an adult woman, and that period defined me. Knox, who's now a writer in Seattle, has something to smile about. A new man in her life, novelist Chris Robinson, who she met while interviewing him about one of his books. I like to say that I didn't start dating him until I read his books. <laughs> Well, that was Mary Beth McDade reporting. Knox, by the way, is also working with the Innocence Project to help others who were wrongly convicted. It's nice to see that smile on her face there. Yes. At the end of that interview, she went through a lot. Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah certainly defined her, as mm -hmm. she said.